Howdy folks. I'm gonna move the mic a bit over. I know I'm looking all fancy. Mostly because I've got a uh, a date night here after I finish recording this. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to do a reaction to Senator Ted Cruz and Senator, Senator Ken Kennedy. I'm not related to, you know, the other Kennedys, at least I think he is. Um, explodes on a... Giggity. Explodes on a... Uh, a DA wanting to become a judge in the US in order for a DA uh, or someone of that ilk wanting to become high, go higher up in the uh, echelons of, of, of the judicial system they have to go in front of uh, uh, Congress and various other leaders so that they can be held accountable, put their feet to the fire if you will, uh, of some of their decisions that they've made. And this judge she made a big boo-boo I have seen some people uh, cover this and give their thoughts. I'm going to cover it and give my thoughts. Um, and so, sorry about that. And uh, so, I just wanted to uh, give my thoughts on it. Move so, for a here it is. Of the decision. We'll turn it up a wait and it's maxed out. Well, Judge Detburn, I'm going to continue on this line of questioning. In your court, what matters more? Now, bear in mind, I try not to be political on my channel. I don't tend to lean left or right. I'm, I'm a bit more of a centrist. Um, there are some things I believe in, in common sense laws. So case in point, um, there are laws out there that are silly, like you can't have an ice cream cone in your back pocket on a Sunday. Those sort of laws need to just, you know. Um, and then there are some laws out there like, you know, don't rape people that are just common sense. You're about to witness Senator Cruz literally hold a judge's feet to the fire about a piss poor decision that she fucking made. The rights of individuals are your po political ideology. I apply the law to the facts. I, I asked a question, which matters more? Now you can literally see like her dial up internet connection on her forehead. Literally, I, you know, I, I need to do this. I'm going to add like a Google Windows load screen circle on her forehead here because you can see that she's struggling to try and justify her answer other than it was a political move. My political ideology doesn't matter at all. Okay, so I don't believe you. And I think this case demonstrates that you are willing to subjugate the rights of individuals to satisfy your political ideology. This case involves a male defendant who raped a nine-year-old boy. Was he guilty of that? Yes, the petitioner pled guilty to that. Okay, so he raped a nine-year-old boy. He also raped a 17-year-old girl. Was he guilty of that? He pled guilty. The petitioner pled guilty of that crime as well. So was he guilty? I... Okay. As a father, I want to know how did that man get to do that to a second victim. The first victim should have been death row. End of. Don't fuck around. Okay? You are willing to put people in prison for years for marijuana, yet you are willing to let pedophiles go free to repeat offend. Make it make sense. I, I hope so, because she pled guilty to it. Uh, he was a he when he did this. That's correct. And also criminal de deviant conduct, which the record doesn't, doesn't uh, disclose what that was exactly. Then, after serving in prison, Mr. McLean was released for... Why was he not shanked? Hello, come on, prisoners. We, we know that there's a hierarchy of criminality and right down at the bottom is pedophiles and rapists. So, come on, guys. 
Come on. Bro. No, I am not condoning violence. But I'm just saying. Accidents happen. Look at Jeffrey Epstein. But then violated the terms of parole by having internet and was sent back to prison. If he's a repeat parole offender, she, so she sounds like she's from somewhere like California, and if that's the case, that's a three strike right there, which means he should be spending the rest of his natural life in a prison. One year after being released again, he was convicted of having child pornography, is that correct? Full strike. I'm, I'm unclear on exactly the time frame that you're at, but, but the petitioner was... It doesn't matter the time frame, you ditzy tart. Okay, it doesn't matter the time frame. Listen to the crimes being listed. Stop thinking, okay? Seriously, stop, stop. Grab the little monkey. Grab it. Stop the key from winding. Thank you, phone. Stop the key from winding and just listen. Was convicted of distributing child pornography. Child pornography that, w that was images of adults violently raping children. Abhorrent conduct. Okay. Okay, if you know it's abhorrent conduct, why is he not rotting in prison for the rest of his natural life? For which there are real victims. And this individual, six foot two, biologically a man. A minute ago you said that when this man decided that he was a she, you, 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 you said this individual was, quote, I wrote it down, sober and entirely a female. Sober and entirely a female. What the fuck does that even mean? That phrase struck me as, as, as remarkable. Did this individual... It strikes me as fucking stupid. Have male genitalia? I, I think what I said, or at least what it, I. It, it, that, uh, now, watch the back pedal. That is a verbatim quote. Entirely a female. You can see her darting her eyes off to the left, which means she's looking for someone else's approval as she's sitting there. Okay, seriously. If you look at her, her body language, yeah, watch her eyes. Quote, entirely One. a female. Sorry, what I meant to say was. Let's go back real quick. I think Watch. what I said, Ready? at least what it, I... It, it, that is a verbatim... One. Quote, entire, two. Entirely a female. Sorry, she's clearly looking at someone else, okay, but not... Because her face is already looking at Kennedy. Uh, 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 it's, uh, um... It, it... Uh, 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 Cruz. Sorry, not Kennedy. She's looking at Cruz, who's talking to her. Why is her eyes darting to the right? As if she's looking for someone else's approval. That's one micro expression that you need to pay attention to. Another micro expression is literally look at her face. There is no emotion there. Entirely. Other than Did this fuck I'm cool. Now, if you look at ten Senator Cruz's expressions, especially with hand gestures are a common thing with, with, with a lot of leaders. They seem to think that if you talk with your hands, you seem like you know what you're doing when you fucking don't. It's a known fact. Unknown leaders who don't talk with their hands and soldiers follow them no matter what. My, my, staff, my staff sergeant, he never spoke with his hands. He always kept his hands folded like this. And he just literally said, no, you're going to do this. There was no, no wiggle room. There was no nothing. You just fucking did what you were told. Male genitalia. Yes. So you Right there. Watch her face. Took a six foot two serial rapist. Now, let, let, for anyone trying to defend this judge in the comment section or wherever, okay, ask yourself this Would you allow that six foot two serial rapist to babysit your children? What the fuck am I talking about? I'm talking about the left. They don't have children, they keep aborting their own children. Or worse, trying to convert your children. Stop that, by the way. If I find out anyone like that goes near my daughter or her kids or her kids' kids while I'm still alive, I will fucking do bodily harm. I will do damage. End of. Serial child rapist with male genitalia. And he said, you know... I'd like to be in a women's prison. 
I've, I've got a turn of phrase for this. And your answer was, that sounds great to me. Let me ask you something. The other women in that prison, do they have any rights? Is, is that a question? You yes. Have the other women in that prison, do they have any rights? Of course. Do they have the right not to have a six foot two man who is a repeat serial rapist put in as their cellmate? Senator Cruz, I considered the facts presented to me and I reached a decision. I asked you a question. A I asked you a question. Do they have a right not to have a six foot two man who is a serial rapist put in as their cellmate? Do those women have a right to that? Every person who's incarcerated has the right to be safe in their space. But you didn't think so. You, you didn't think so. And in fact, I'm going to give some quotes needs of the from many your order because outweigh the needs of the Senator few Kennedy or right. the one. This is not a judge's order. This is a political activist. By this the is why I like Texas. The of your order be, uh, I'm sorry, but says, Senator Cruz would get my vote when I moved birth, to Texas. People are typically assigned a gender. I got to say that would astonish a lot of Americans. A lot of Americans think you, you, you go to the hospital, a baby is born, and you say, congratulations, you have a little boy, a little girl. The assigned gender, I know you went to Brown, but it sounds <laughs> like it's in a empty <laughs> lounge. Ooh, ooh, that says With it all, no she went to Brown. On reality, the Bureau of Prison argued, I'm not even joking. That what says I'm saying it all, right she now, went that to if Brown. If you put this person in a female prison, there will be a risk of sexual assault to the women. And you know what you did? You said you didn't care about the women. I'm going to quote what you wrote. You wrote, quote, The Bureau of Prisons claimed penological interest in protecting female prisoners from sexual violence and trauma. This interest is legitimate. That's kind of you to say. But there are no signs that petitioner is at risk of reoffending. The record is devoid of evidence of incidents of violence or assault during petitioner's incarceration when she was the perpetrator, only the victim. A theoretical risk of sexual assault by the prisoner without more cannot support the BOP's position. No evidence, theoretical. H have you dealt in what universe is someone who is a serial repeat child rapist not at a risk of reoffending? Senator, as I do in every case. Okay, I, I know you've been told to repeat the line. I've Again, I'm, I'm going to put it into a simple thing. Sorry about that, I just had to answer a question. Answer a question. I, I... I will put it into a simple term for you. Okay? You... You wouldn't let a person like that babysit your kids. Okay, so if you don't have kids, let me put it into a context you would understand. There's a reason why foxes don't live with chickens. Okay? And it's a simple thing. There is a reason why... And I'm not even joking. Why foxes don't live with chickens. Why, why lions don't live with gazelles or zebras. Because they will fucking eat them. Radical fucking concept for you, I know, but it's the truth, you fucking tits. Oh, and the only definition that should be for what is a woman is the woman. The, the, defin the only definition for a woman should be my mother, because it was my mother who birthed me. That is the definition of a woman. To make it clear. And if you try to claim to be a woman. And you haven't birthed a child. Or you can't birth a child. As in. You have a womb. You have ovaries. You have you know all, all, all of that. And even if it doesn't work or not. You're still a woman. If you are a man who inverts their penis. You are not a man. You are a trans. You will always be trans. You will never be a woman. No matter how hard you wish, little Timmy, you will never be a Tina. Hate to break it to you. And I have trans members in my family. They know 
in it, I can ask them. I remember asking them vividly, are you a man or a woman? And my aunt turned around and said to me, I was born a boy, but I like to pretend I'm a girl. His words. That's what I was raised on. I'm a child of the 80s, so fuck you. Okay? I'm a child of the 80s, late 70s, early 80s. I grew up where basically men were men, women were women. And you knew exactly what you was. You looked in between your legs and said, oh look, I've got an outie, or oh look, I've got an innie. It wasn't fucking hard. Now, that said, let's see what this judge does. Follow the law. Does. I asked a question. In what universe is someone who is a serial repeat child rapist not at risk of reoffending? Sir, I looked at the facts. Let me just dodge that question. <laughs> that were before me in this case. You can also now tell when she's lying because she's blinking very rapidly as if she's actually being held captive and is trying to do a Morse code. All of the evidence, including the statements of every Look at the long woman. blink. I'm not even joking. She's literally doing Morse code. Short blink, short blink, short blink, long blink, long blink, short blink, long blink. She's literally doing Morse code. Who had supervised this petitioner. You, you also wrote, the BOP also... And she darted her eyes to the, to the right again. She's looking and getting her answers from someone else behind Senator Cruz. There is definitely manipulation going on there. So posits that permitting petitioner to live among women will be traumatizing and possibly dangerous to them. This concern is overblown. I have to say, if I were the father of one of those women, and you decided that my daughter's cellmate was going to be a six foot two man who over and over and over again committed violent sexual assault. I would say the entire justice system is absurd, and it is clear on your record your political ideology matters a heck of a lot more than the rights of those women that you endangered. I think you're a radical, and I think you have no business being a judge. Judge Nedburn, there was. Uh... Sorry, I'm. Bravo. Bravo, Senator Cruz. Bravo. Now watch this DNC dog. Literally, watch this DNC dog right here, who ironically is the one she's been looking at. Little hint for you. Try to justify everything that that judge just said and did. This is why no one votes for the DNC anymore. This is why the DNC has to use George Soros' money and buy votes. Because no one with a fucking brain cell would ever vote for the DNC. Um, an opportunity during your exchange with Senator Cruz that you were attempting to offer uh, um, a response relative to uh, the, con the conditions under which um, this uh, petitioner um, was... Now, here's another thing I want to know. Why is it that there's more Democrats, including the main he chairhead, here in this committee than there are republicans there's only two republicans kennedy kennedy and cruz everyone else here is a democrat who's packing the courts who said that they were gonna oh the republicans are gonna pack the courts who's actually packing the courts just saying exchange with senator cruz that you were attempting to offer and it's amazing how all these judges are all women Democratic women with lots of cats and no kids who happen to literally put children's lives at risk. You're going to die one day, judges. I'm not going to kill you. You'll die of natural causes or accidents or whatever. 
And when you do, enjoy your time in hell. That is all I need to say on that matter. But let's continue. Offer uh, um, a response relative to uh, the, con the conditions under which um, this uh, petitioner um, were, was unsafe in the facilities uh, in which she was being held. I'd like to offer you the opportunity to finish that response. So the facts that were presented to me and what I relied on to make my decision were that the petitioner had engaged in no violence no physical violence, no acts of sexual violence whatsoever while in custody. All three wardens who supervised the petitioner requested that she be transferred to a women's facility because of her serious medical needs. In addition... Do you expect a tiger or a lion or an alpha predator to attack everything it sees around them instantly no it likes to lull its prey into a false sense of security do you not fucking understand that the bureau of prisons long time again she's doing the morse code blinking just look at her eyes look at her eyes the provider testified at a two-day hearing in my courtroom and recommended that the petitioner be transferred because of her serious medical needs. And the last thing I'll say is that the transgender... All you've talked about is medical needs, medical needs, medical needs, medical needs, medical needs, medical needs. That wasn't the question that was asked of you. You have quite literally Michael Jackson hee-heed <laughs> your way around that fucking question. Under Executive Council, which is the body that makes decisions on behalf of transgender transfer requests within the Bureau of Prisons, never said that the petitioner could not be transferred and never ever said that she couldn't be transferred because of any risk of violence. What the Transgender Executive Council repeatedly said in denying the request was simply that she needed to maintain her hormone levels. That was Your voice is giving me mono. Stop fucking talking. You're you're literally You know you know what I have I have the perfect the perfect saying for this. And this was actually once said by a Spartan to an Athenian, which is Wow, look at the words, look at the empty words that he uses look at the tongue on that man who wraps it around empty words. That was the repeated um, justification for the denial of transfer. But the petitioner had reached full female hormone levels before even being incarcerated. At the time, the district judge in Indiana who sentenced the petitioner requested that she be placed in a women's facility. Her hormones were entirely female at that point. And so the decision by the Transgender Executive Council to deny the transfer request based on this idea that it was only because her hormones needed to be consistent and stabilized, I found was a pretext, but they never once said she cannot be transferred because of violence. It was always based on this idea that her hormones had well, to be transferred. Thank you, Judge Netburn. Senator, Senator Padilla. Judge Netburn, that's Senator directly Padilla. Padilla. Now, 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 that Democrat that she was staring at throughout the entire time Senator Cruz was asking her questions is the one that just allowed her to go on that tirade. Now, as per the judicial ground floor, floor rules, Senator Cruz can counter that. He can say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right here. And actually fucking ask her a, a follow-up question. But he is denied, and so is Kennedy. Listen to what Kennedy says at the end. It's fucking hilarious. Senator, you all today. have that had direct, all, no, 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 we're going to no, follow up, and that's how it works, that is exactly how it works, we're going to follow up, you, 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 you follow up. didn't get extra time, and she just directly contradicted her own report, I'm just going to read her own words, I'm just saying it's exactly the opposite of what she said, your own report, senators, senators, I gave both of you 
more time you, to finish your you line of questioning. I allowed, you I allowed the witness to finish her I allowed the witness to finish her response. I allowed the witness to finish her response. That is, hey, I understand that, that you're scared not, of the Look at the fucking smile on that slag's face. She knows that she just caused a fucking shitstorm. Look at smile. Look at look at the smile on that sleazy slag's fucking face. You know for a fact she doesn't have kids, and if she does have kids, ask her this question: Would you let that rapist, that serial fucking rapist, babysit your kids alone? The answer's going to be hell no. Or abuse I have look, you can Senator literally Senator see her Chair. smiling. You Madam Chair, open up Madam Chair. She, she has an obligation to explain. The and there's the token Mexican. The token Mexican Democrat. There's the token uh, 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 Argentinian Democrat. And, and, and look, look at all of their fucking aides behind them. Look at how skinny and soy they are. Look at all the fucking chads over here. Because you know for a fact, if shit kicked off, this dude alone would like Pick up one of these other skinny bars and start flailing them around, <laughs> knocking everyone out left, right, and center. The only person who I truly feel sorry for in all of this is the poor stenographer. Is this woman? Because she has to quite literally type down everything that's being fucking said. <laughs> that poor woman. Why she directly contradicted what she wrote in her report. She says in her report, the Bureau of Prisons claimed penological interest is in protecting female prisoners from sexual violence and trauma. She just told you the Bureau of Prisons didn't say there was a concern about sexual violence and trauma. Those are directly contradictory, and why are you contradicting what you wrote in your report? And what are you Senator, trying to add? I believe I have the floor. No, wait, point of I order. I See, Kennedy Padilla. just called a point, point of order. Senator you, Padilla. You don't want her to answer that question. Senator Padilla. Very much See? Honorable, 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 honorable. Why do they all literally look like an AI generated, like you just typed in Democratic female judge and like AI generated art just spurted out the same woman, only this one's black, this one's Asian, this one's Scandinavian. But they all have the same horrible generic look. Look at that hair part, hair part, hair part hair part, hair part. They're all literally cut and pastes of each other. They're NPCs. The left is all NPCs. And, and not, not, I'm not even saying that the right doesn't have NPCs. It does. But the point is, guys, this is just fucking ridiculous. This is just fucking ridiculous. This entire thing is ridiculous. It's a facade. It's a, it's a song. It, it, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a dog and pony show. It, that's exactly what it is. It's like like Caesar said, if you want to remain in power, keep the people docile with shows and, and fights and arenas and wine. That's exactly what this is. This is, this is exactly what this is. Look through the democratic fog, people. Look through, and I don't just mean from the democratic side, I mean the, the democrat as in the democracy part of it, okay? You are a democrat, you are a, you are a republic. Okay, the people, the, the people in those suits, not these, well, these ass, even these assholes here, were all at one point voted into their positions of power. And I ask you, to the people who voted them in, what is your major fucking malfunction? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, please give the video a like. If you're new around here, hit the follow button, and most importantly. Bleep bloop a comment down below. Whether I'm alright, am I wrong? Is this a hot take? Is this not? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.